bridges, dams, buildings, and highways. It's easy to walk by any of these and appreciate their beauty, but most of us aren't going to appreciate or even understand the amount of planning, labor, and architectural design that went into some of these modern marvels. So join us for today's video as we take a look at the top 15 most incredible feats of engineering. Number 15. Chicago River Redirection City planning is no easy task. You've got to deal with construction, sewage, and waterways. And the bigger the city, the harder it's all going to be. And that most definitely includes sources of drinking water. Chicago gets a lot of its drinking water from Lake Michigan, but the city faced a serious health crisis when waterborne diseases were on the rise. But what was exactly going on? Sewage from Chicago was flowing right into the lake was the undeniable culprit. So how did the city go about fixing the nasty problem then? Well, engineers discovered that they could dig the Chicago Sanitary and Ship Canal to help reverse the river's flow, which would then move the polluted water away from Lake Michigan and send it to a safer route away from the city and out of everyone's faucets. It is a pretty impressive feat because the Chicago River combines 156 miles worth of rivers and canals, and all of this was done in the year 1900 using some seriously outdated technology. Number 14. The Bay Bridge Span When you think of San Francisco, your mind probably goes straight to the Golden Gate Bridge. But there's another bridge on the city limits that's still impressive in its own right, the Bay Bridge. Now keep in mind the Bay Bridge has fallen victim to multiple earth-shattering earthquakes, and so any and all structures need to be able to withstand the next big one. The Bay Bridge is much newer and cost about $6.4 billion to build and replace the original seismically unstable bridge. So to do that, the engineers built the world's longest self-anchored suspension span at 2,047 feet long. And the whole thing is anchored by just one 525-foot tall tower that carried 90% of the bridge's weight. The tall tower is hanging on tightly to the Bay Bridge's main cable made up of 17,000 steel wire strands, all wrapped around to create a thick earthquake-safe structure that's 2.6 feet in diameter. The cables all loop around the bridge's roadway. And the Bay Bridge is also one of the widest bridges in the world, which is why it needed extra care and attention, especially since it's lodged into the Bay areas in less than ideal soil conditions. Number 13. The Empire State Building the New York City skyline is really something, especially at night as the lights illuminate the sky and feel brighter than the stars up above. And the Empire State Building is a major part of that view. There's something to be said about the fact that people come from all over the world just to catch a glimpse of this groundbreaking building. It's probably even safe to say that it's the most influential skyscraper in the world, considering its history. The Empire State Building was completed and opened its doors back in 1931 and stands at 102 stories, or about 1,250 feet tall, towering over the Chrysler Building. It held the mantle of being the tallest building in the world for a good 40 years and is held together with a steel frame that's encased in 200,000 cubic feet of Indiana limestone and granite. But how long did it take to build something like this? Just a year and 45 days. Not bad at all. Number 12. Colorado River Aqueduct California is one of the biggest states in the U.S., and despite being home to lush scenery like the Redwood National Park and Muir Woods, it's also one of the driest states the more you move down south. Think Death Valley level dry. And the fact that California has had its fair share of droughts over the last few years due to less and less rainfall isn't helpful either. So then where are all these people getting their water from? Well, a lot of it is coming from the Colorado River, and it isn't happening naturally. Someone had to engineer that, and that's where the Colorado River Aqueduct comes in. The Colorado River Aqueduct siphons 242 miles worth of water using a complicated series of tunnels, canals, and pumps to move the water to thirstier areas of Southern California. Opened and operating since 1939, the famous and vital aqueduct is constantly moving water up and over the mountains to get it to places that aren't fortunate enough to be served by rivers. If it weren't for the Colorado River Aqueduct, major cities like San Diego and even Los Angeles wouldn't be able to maintain agriculture. Number 11. The Golden Gate Bridge We've talked about one major Bay Area bridge already, so now it's time to show some love to its more well-known sibling the Golden Gate Bridge. The Golden Gate Bridge was an amazing four-year project that connected Marin County to the foggy city of San Francisco over the Golden Strait. Golden State, Golden Strait, Golden Gate, get it? 
When it was finally finished in 1937, it was the longest bridge in the world, spanning 4,200 feet, and was even the tallest suspension bridge the world had ever seen. It was able to hold on to both of those records until the 1960s. That's no easy feat. The Golden Gate Bridge was designed by Joseph Strauss and was so intricate that it required thousands and thousands of hand calculations of every single tiny little rivet and mooring location. When you're undertaking a project of that scale, there's absolutely zero room for error, and the world's longest bridge is going to need a ton of cable to hold it up. So the engineers used 80,000 miles of steel cable, which they spun completely on site for 14 months to give the bridge 27 feet of lateral bend. It's another bridge that must, must be able to withstand all seismic activity. Number 10, Solomon R. Guggenheim Museum. Moving back across the United States to the city that never sleeps is our next amazing feat of engineering, the Solomon R. Guggenheim Museum, or more commonly known as just the Guggenheim. Easily one of New York City's most popular and memorable museums, it's also the city's most unique. The Guggenheim was designed by the late great Frank Lloyd Wright, but it wasn't completed until 1959, after his death. But he came up with the brilliant idea for a cylindrical stack that doesn't look like anything else on the island of Manhattan. The Guggenheim truly is one of a kind. As the building spirals upwards, the cylinders expand towards the building's glass ceiling, making it look almost like an upside-down beehive. And when you step inside, it's both simple yet breathtaking as you seamlessly wind your way up the museum's galleries. Wright had claimed that the unique design would make the building and the painting an uninterrupted, beautiful symphony such as never existed in the world of art before. And boy, did he deliver. It's not often that a building's exterior is engineered to reflect the look and feel of the interior. Number 9. Glines Canyon Dam Demolition, Washington the Glines Canyon Dam on the Elwha River in Washington State stands at 210 feet tall, and when it was demolished, the event was one of the largest dam demolitions in engineering history. The dam itself was built in 1927 and took a healthy combination of excavators chipping away little by little at the top layer of the dam, and then some good old-fashioned TNT to remove it all for good in 2014. But seeing as how so much of that is done by hand, that that's no easy feat, to say the least. Plus, you can't just bring in six of dynamite and hope for the best. Experts in both engineering and emulsion had to come in and make some careful calculations to make sure that they weren't about to cause the next big catastrophe in Washington. The purpose of the controlled demolitions, though, was to restore the river habitat that had been blocked off and lost behind the dam for almost a century. Number 8. Evergreen Point Floating Bridge Since we're already in Washington State, why not stay for a while? since the demolition of their dam isn't the only amazing feat of engineering to happen there. If you're ever in the area and going for a little joyride down State Route 520, then make sure you roll over the Evergreen Point Floating Bridge. After construction finally wrapped up in 2016, this modern marvel took the top spot for the longest floating bridge in the world. The bridge spans a whopping 7,710 feet across Lake Washington and is wide enough to accommodate six lanes of vehicles. That's one crowded commute. But how is something that long and wide able to withstand that much weight on a daily basis? The Evergreen Point Floating Bridge uses 77 concrete pontoons as its foundation. So the weight of the water that's being displaced by the pontoons is equal to the weight of the structure, which is what allows it to float. The idea of a floating bridge may be scary to most people, but don't worry, because this spectacle of engineering is plenty safe. It almost makes you wish you'd pay more attention in high school math class roadway is elevated 20 feet above the water, and seeing as how the bridge floats on the water, it uses 58 separate anchors to keep everything in place. Number 7. Sales Force Tower California, and especially the Bay Area, have a history of nasty earthquakes. Sitting on the San Andreas Fault, San Francisco especially was destroyed in the 1906 earthquake, and history almost repeated itself with another one in 1989. So as the city itself was being rebuilt, it was paramount that the new foundations be able to withstand seismic activity. The Salesforce Tower in San Francisco is almost like an iceberg. The 61-story building is 1,070 meters tall, but its foundation goes deep into the earth at 95 meters and is one of the deepest in the world. Completed in 2017, the noteworthy design set a precedent in the seismic safety of buildings. 
The city of San Francisco has an incredibly weak bedrock and complex soil strata, but the team of engineers took that as a challenge to build up something that could laugh in the face of disaster and use an insane 49 million pounds of concrete to keep itself steady and upright even in the worst of earthquakes. When it comes to building anything that can withstand the forces of Mother Nature, you need some serious engineering skills. Number 6. Three Gorges Dam Another civil engineering wonder of the world, the Three Gorges Dam in China is the largest hydroelectric dam in the world, with a generation capacity of a whopping 22.5 gigawatts, totally eclipsing the other entries on our list. Another dam sitting on the Yangtze River, the Three Gorges Dam took 40,000 workers to construct over just 12 years, and the projection its entirety cost between 28 and 88 billion dollars. While that's a pretty big gap, that's because the Chinese government likes to be a bit hush-hush on the subject. It's also the largest concrete structure on Earth, and the idea behind it was born back in the year 1919. But it took about 80 years for the commission to pass by the National People's Congress as a monument to Chinese engineering. It's a massive source of renewable energy and replaced the burning of 30 million tons of coal each year, and it used enough steel to build 63 Eiffel Towers. It gives energy to over 60 million Chinese people every year, it's something that massive has to garner some controversy. The construction of the Three Gorges displaced 1.3 million people and destroyed historical excavation areas, and 100 workers died while building it. But the biggest impact of the dam is still on the environment, as nearby fish populations are in decline, and pollution is increasing as the river is no longer able to clean itself as it's choked off by the dam. It should come as no surprise that something so big must also come at such a large price. Number 5. The Hoover Dam The early 1900s saw a rise in the demand for water and hydroelectricity in the United States, and the Hoover Dam is probably the most magnificent feat in that endeavor. At the time, the Colorado River was causing way too many floods, which often ended in disaster. Couple that with the simple fact that the river held rich minerals and resources, and so engineers decided that the time had come to tame the waters of the Colorado River. The dam was built in Black Canyon right on the Nevada-Arizona border by blasting the canyon walls to create diversion tunnels that channel the water away from the construction site. Workers braved the poor conditions of the tunnels, cleared them out and smoothed the walls, and used jackhammers to excavate the walls 800 feet above the canyon. It was no small or easy task, as workers bored 40 feet into the bedrock to build the Hoover Dam's foundation. Workers on the ground below used power shovels to excavate more than half a million cubic yards of mud and dirt to make way for the concrete. Amazingly, the Hoover Dam took five years to complete, and now stands at 726 feet tall and consists of 6.6 .6 million tons of concrete, enough to pave a highway that spans from New York to San Francisco. Number 4. Vialichka Salt Mine From the 13th century through the 21st, workers were pulling salt from the Vialichka Salt Mine in Krakow, Poland. The mine goes over 300 meters into the earth and stretches for a whopping 108 miles. The mines have a royal history and have been rebuilt several times over 700 years, but what makes this mine so interesting is that as time went on, the mines evolved. There are chapels, workhouses, and storehouses built into the salt and rock. Statues and other decorative elements have also been preserved over time, and some of the workers' tools have been left behind and remained untouched, along with some of their more complex medieval machinery. While the mine no longer serves their original purpose, a special tour route was created in the 19th century, which still remains very active today. The Vyalichka salt mines serve as a brilliant reminder of the resilience and ingenuity of bygone eras of human history. Number 3. Sanford Lab Almost 5,000 feet below the Earth's surface in Leeds, South Dakota is the Sanford Lab. What was once a gold mine is now the site for a study of dark matter. Dark matter and neutrino physics are best observed and researched far from the cosmic rays caused by Earth's mass, so the length of six Empire State Buildings deep into the ground is the perfect place. The facility is massive, and while it only encompasses less than a square kilometer above ground, there are over 31 square kilometers of space underground. There's plenty of room for multiple laboratories, campuses, and even a water treatment facility. 
Sanford Labs is also open to the public to spread awareness among the scientists, geophysicists, and researchers of the future, as well as educate the rest of us about the previous gold mine's history. But the fun doesn't stop there, because although the Sanford Lab itself is about 5,000 feet below the surface, the mine itself goes on for a total of 8,000 feet. It's always good to have room to grow. Number 2. Burj Khalifa Dubai is an interesting city, and it would seem that the powers that be there have created it to show off their engineering prowess and money. And say what you will about it, but the Burj Khalifa is one of the most impressive feats of engineering probably of all time. The Burj Khalifa was actually inspired by the Empire State Building, and $1.5 billion later stands at an absurd 2,719 feet tall. Construction began in 2004 and ended in 2010, so about six years if you hate math. It's also the tallest building in the world, and doesn't seem like anyone is going to be able to top that anytime soon. It's almost a thousand feet taller than the world's next tallest building. The Burj Khalifa has a shamrock-shaped base to give it maximum support and a perfect view from just about anywhere inside the building. But what is truly wild is that once construction started, the engineering and construction teams were able to build at a rate of 30 floors in less than a year. Number 1. International Space Station If we're going to talk about the most incredible engineering feat of all time, then we have to go to space. Because if you thought construction here on Earth took a lot of work, then imagine doing it in the final frontier. The International Space Station, or ISS, weighs 460 tons, is the size of a football field, and just floats above us, 240 miles above Earth. It took five teams from 15 countries to construct this master class in engineering that all started in 1984. The ISS is so big that construction couldn't even be completed on Earth, seeing as how there are no rockets in existence that could possibly propel it to its great heights. Everything was launched piece by piece and then slowly assembled in the dark void. Astronauts and cosmonauts have been going back and forth and even living up there for the past 20 years or so to develop and prepare the station for research and exploration, and you can rest assured that more additions to the ISS will be made as time goes on. Watch our binge-watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.